Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am doing another of my making art of YouTube pet series. In my previous videos I made some art of Bailey J's two cats Kiki and Midna and I also in the last video made some art of Kirito who belongs to Jamie Jo and Tom Burns. So because I've done two cat videos I thought it would be a nice change to do a dog video. So in this video I am making some art of Kyra. And Kyra is a really adorable little black Staffordshire Bull Terrier who belongs to the lovely Rachel Oates here on YouTube. If you don't know who she is, she does an amazing commentary videos and kind of a wide span of things, science, religion, poetry. I'm really, really enjoying her poetry videos right now and she is really, really amazing. And her videos are incredibly well researched and she puts so much time and effort into them. And she is a really, really amazing YouTuber and her videos contain a lot of Kyra, especially at the moment. So go and check her out. I will leave a link in the description down below. So because I have already done a picture of Kyra a while ago, I did a expressionist watercolor piece of her. I decided that I would make a shrink plastic charm for this video, mix it up a little bit. If you want to see the other picture I've done of Kyra, by the way, go find it on my Instagram. I will leave a link to that down below and a cheeky little handle up on screen right now. So for this shrink plastic charm, I drew out Kyra's outline onto some printer paper and cut out a square of shrink plastic and placed it over the top. But before I started colouring in with the colour pencils, I roughed it up a bit using a nail file because if you use colour pencil on shrink plastic, you need the surface to be able to grip the pencil, otherwise it's just a big fail. So that's what I did. I sanded it down with a nail file and then I went over the top with some Prismacolor pencils. And because Kyra is a black dog, I tried hard not to use too much black, although I did use black in the eyes and in the mouth and on the nose and in the very, very deepest shadows. I used quite a lot of blue and brown colours and greys and pinks, obviously, for the ear and the tongue. And because shrink plastic gets darker when it shrinks, this really worked to my advantage here because it meant when Kyra was baked, it meant that the blue and the brown tones got even darker and looked more black than they are. So that was actually really, really helpful. And I was just building up the layers on the shrink plastic. It's quite difficult to build layers up on this surface so I just had to do the best I could. I do have a separate tutorial on how to do these shrink plastic designs although for this one because I turned it into a necklace I didn't use resin partly because I don't use resin anyway on my necklace charms and the resin I have is a little bit old and it was from Wish so I don't 100% trust it and I didn't want to get a bubbly Kyra although she's quite bubbly by the looks of it but wrong kind of bubbles. Once I had finished colouring her, I cut her out with some scissors. Again, it's quite tricky cutting out shrink plastic. I always have to really concentrate when I'm cutting it out because I find it really quite difficult because it's very, very easily snaps or you can easily cut too far and it's very, very obvious that you have done this. And once I had cut her out, I stuck a hole punch in her head and put her in the oven. And you will just need to, if you try this yourself, your shrink, shrink plastic comes with instructions. So just follow those like I did. But I think my shrink plastic is three minutes at 160 degrees. And when I got her out of the oven, I just had to flatten her a little bit because that sometimes happens. So I put Kyra in the oven and she shrunk. So if you are new to my channel or this is the first video you've seen of mine, Welcome, my name is Katie. I make art videos. I do drawing, painting, DIYs, crafts. I have my own little character called Charlie and I am planning a video of him next. So it's look out for the community tab because I will be needing your suggestions. I have the community tab now because I hit 1K. I feel like a real YouTuber. So keep your eye out for the community tab because I'm going to be posting in there too. Anyway, if you're new, welcome. Have a look around my channel. I have quite a lot of playlists and videos, so do feel free to check it out. And if you liked them, do feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell because YouTube doesn't always put videos in people's subscription boxes because it does that sometimes. 
so hit that bell and if you like this video you know emotionally please do leave it a like down below as that really does help me out and comment on the video if you have any suggestions of youtube pets that you think i would like because i always like looking at people's animals and i like making fan art of people's animals so this is a great series for me so comment down below with some suggestions of youtube pets for this series so here is Kyra after she has come out of the oven and as you can see the colours are darker, she's smaller and the plastic has got thicker and she fits so nicely into the palm of my hand now. So just to bring out the highlights a little bit I added one or two highlights with the white gel pen and that's only in the white shine of her eye on her nose and a slight little bit on her cheek. Like I've said in previous videos, I'm trying to shy away from the white gel pen, but in this case, it was a little bit necessary just to pick out the shine a little bit more. But I did keep it to a minimum, and after I had done that, I added a coat of clear nail varnish because, like I said before, I'm not using resin because I don't use resin in necklaces and I didn't trust it. So I use some clear nail varnish and that works really, really well to seal colour pencils on shrink plastic so it doesn't scratch off. And especially a top coat that works even better because as I understand it, not that I'm anyway a nail guru because I use nail varnish for crafting, not my fingers because I'm too impatient with nail varnish and it just looks a mess whenever I try and do it. I think that the top coat works even better because the purpose of a top coat, as I understand it, is to stop the nail polish from chipping off and it just gives it that extra layer. So that is what I used for this and I'm just finishing it off now. And once I had varnished her successfully, I attached a jump ring to the hole in her head and added it onto a black necklace that I have a mass amount of black necklaces because I have a jewellery making addiction. Um, I attached it to a necklace along with a little paw charm which I found in my mass collection of charms, beads, buttons, etc, etc. And I thought the paw went really well because of the pink, pastel pink on it matched her tongue and her inner ear and just gave it a little bit of an edge I guess. And I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Rachel, I hope you like it if you're watching. And I will be sending this and the other picture that I did of Kyra to her PO box. And yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.